And I'm trying to figure out, like, and I bet a lot of people are the same way with me. They're trying, you know, I'm kind of getting off a liberty issue, right? I'm going to try to talk about just world issues for a moment, okay? All right? And I'm willing to take a, a leap of faith into these conversations to start them, okay? Um, so I want to talk about, I want to talk about guns, I want to talk about mental health, right? And I want to talk about why it does affect you even though you realize, you might think it doesn't, right? And, uh, <coughs> you know, yesterday, you know, I took, took my kids out and we went down to uh, uh, the Peace Park. Did you guys even know that existed? Right? That monument that I took in front of, you guys see my Instagram? My Facebook? Alright, now you guys did anything. You know what you guys did? Yeah. Some of you guys liked it. You see what I'm talking about? Did you guys know that existed? All right. So there's this uh, famous monument in Indianapolis. It's actually very famous. And it has uh, Martin Luther King, and he's reaching out to uh, Robert Kennedy. You guys know who Robert Kennedy is? Not JFK, Robert Kennedy. All right, so do, are we at the place where we love our guns more than our kids? All right? And I'm going to tell you straight up, I got guns. I got a lot of guns. All right? But, like, what is that? You know, is it just, like, why are people walking into a school and shooting people? Like, this matters. This matters to all of us, okay? Why is that happening? Like, why does a kid, like, I'm going to tell you he's a kid, right? If you're under 20, you're a kid. I call most of you guys kids. If you're under 20, what makes you so hateful or so upset to walk in and end someone's life? But see, you, you think, well, this kid didn't have a chance. He never had parents. Yeah, he, he had a rough life from his start. So right. That plays a huge factor. He was already but, unhappy. But the funny thing is this same kid could have had the same story and ended up being CEO of Facebook. You know what I mean? Yeah. And he'd have been like a, a good story. So, <coughs> so like, like but what about do we just need to drag everybody to church? <laughs> like, I don't know. But yeah. see, some people are like, no. Then, then where do people get their moral ruler? Do you believe everybody needs to have a moral ruler? Which means like, okay, I can do this, I can do that, but like this, this is crossing the line, whatever my line is. Where do people get their moral ruler at? No. I know it sounds funny, but where do people get their moral ruler it's at? Not that their family, they're yeah, nature and nurture. People they're with. You think it's all nature and nurture? Well, so this, the rich yeah. guy, the rich ass son of a bitch in Vegas who shot people. Mm -hmm. Rich guy, intelligent guy. Some people are born with us. They're born without it? Right. I believe the situation that was portrayed in the situation that happened. Right. I think you went straight to the law. Yeah, I think that kid was probably bullied to have that in my life. I don't know, but that would be my guess. But here's the thing. Like, there have been so many multiple 911 calls made on this kid. They knew he was going to do something. They needed to do something to prevent what was what happened. Right. There's a little bit of blame on the parents for that one. But there was no parents. But he was in the process of being adopted by a friend's family. The school as well. You can't adopt a 19 year old. Well, schools, yes, you can. Metal detectors. My daughter's high school says no right. weapons and stuff. Adopted. I carry it again. I've actually accidentally walked in with it in my purse. Just right, but the guy I busted in just so started like, shooting people. Like, know, the metal detector wasn't going to stop them. Well, right, but I would at least alert it. Somebody, if they have, like, Franklin Central has cops there. So, like, why right. isn't there. Metal right, but, but, like, but I don't. See, I think we're looking at. Here's what I'm not trying to do. Trying to, I'm not trying to figure out the solution for that one case. No, I know. Right? I'm trying to figure out a solution where, as a body of people, that maybe we can decide to start being the positive influence. Do you see what I'm saying? And I don't think it needs to be like we're pro gun or we're anti gun, mm -hmm. right? I think it's okay to say we're pro mental health, right? And some of you is crazy, so we might be. There's a reason I got a white minivan out front, right? <laughs> I got a straight jacket coming. We'll be taking some of you guys to the place, right? But. Like, what can we do as a people? Like, what can we do as a people? Because one thing I really think, right, at the end of the day, it's simply communication, right? Like, I think you guys have seen, like, when you don't communicate with me, right, I go ballistic, I'm not going to do anything bad, but to me it's like, did the kid have a friend? <coughs> do you know what I mean? Did, and even if he did, did he feel like he had a friend? Do you know what I mean? Right? To me, most people, right, are, are sit sometimes in their own little world in their head, and they think like things are really bad. I know some of you guys right now have problems that if you brought them to me, I would laugh about. You know why? Because I've been there, right? And I was so scared. You remember like in, your kids come home from third or fourth grade and they're like, you know, Bobby don't like me. And they're like, this is the end of the world. Like one of my daughters, I'm like, who gives a shit about Bobby, right? I mean, I'm gonna find his dad smack, you know what I mean? Like, like that doesn't matter, but you guys know what I'm saying? You guys remember that? These third or fourth grade problems you thought were matter? It's the same thing now on a different level, right? Some of you guys have problems that I think are, are, are kind of funny. 
like some of you guys right now might need like like 200 bucks would be a life-changing thing right now to you guys right and I think that the only way for us to recognize what people's problems are right are to sit down and start communicating with each other so you know here's what I just want to go with what, what my advice on this would be is make sure you're reaching out you know what I mean like I'm not saying ladies you always got to text back the boy at 2 a.m. right you leave him hanging right but and guys you don't have to text back the thirsties you know what I'm saying when you put one of your big checks and then all of a sudden all them girls start liking you I've seen it happen too right but I'm saying like sometimes you just like do you guys ever just go through your phone and just communicate with some people that maybe you haven't for a while see how things are going right how many times do you guys scroll through your Facebook and I can't stand people by the way who put their business on Facebook but sometimes like people on Facebook right will put their problems on there do you guys realize what the real thing is? it doesn't matter what it says but they put their problem on there do you realize what they're actually doing attention. they're screaming for attention right now I know it gets annoying sometimes like, like oh that girl she always be wanting attention right and you just scroll right past it right but sometimes right you need to be the one to pick up the phone right not comment on the Facebook you need to be the one to pick up the phone and like reach out to that person direct right even if it's gonna be a semi painful experience for you like you know once you open this barn door that that person's gonna text you 300,000 times right do we all avoid that do we all know what I'm talking about but isn't that pain of going through that better than what could have happened right because I do really feel that everything leads to something else. Maybe that person who's just wanting attention, right? They need it. They do need it. If you want attention, it's because your body physically needs it, right? Us going through the pain of giving them a little attention might keep her from actually triggering somebody else. Do you see what I mean? Who might trigger somebody else? Who might trigger somebody else? Who's all of a sudden shooting people for no reason? Like to me, there's no valid reason, right, for somebody to do something evil like that ever. Like, I just don't see that. I don't understand it. To me, it's just like, like, give me the opportunity to be sitting outside that school when that kid walks up. Right? Give me 30 seconds with that kid. Because right now, you realize somebody's going through pain saying, if I only would have talked to that kid last week. Do you see what I'm saying? Right? And that's true for everybody. You know what I mean? So, what I, what I impress on you guys is that, you know, this week, while you're giving it 100% like you guys always do, which is amazing work, Right? Also think about your relationships with everybody around you. Whether you're walking past somebody, whether you're doing anything. When you guys, when someone, I meet someone at a store or something, they ask me, hey, how's it going? Or how are you doing? I go, excellent. Right? Instead of just saying good, you're right? I have my own word. It's excellent. Right? I implore you guys to find your own word. That's something that simple. That when somebody's like, hey, how's your day going? You know how most of you guys be like, okay. Right? Isn't that what guys do? Okay. You're okay. <laughs> find a new word excellent grand whatever it is right because that will change the tone of the relationships you have with people you're walking past right I, I always consider myself a magnet you know when I walk around I seem to attract people to me right people want to talk to me and it's not because I'm good-looking right I mean come on though right you know what I'm saying it's because I'm a magnet because I'm trying to be you know a good person and I'm trying to be out there and make things better so you know um where's Ron is he here now Where's Ron? Yeah. Ron. Oh man, Ron. Oh, is he taking the test? No, Ron's in Bloomington. Oh yeah, he's right there. Yeah, yeah. Ron, he's right. All right, there you are. All right, man. You guys make people driving all the way down there. All right, it's okay. Good luck, Ron. Right. So, Ron, give me a thumbs up. Am I a magnet? There you go. All right. They might have a thing. So here's my thing. What I implore to you guys is to change your conversations with the people that you're going to be around this week. Every DM you meet, every worker you meet, every janitor you meet, every person you walk by, right? What I ask for you guys to do is to start communicating with those people a little better. Actually put some thought into it. At some points, guys, you need to put your damn phone in your pocket and pay attention to those around you. Because I think the real culprit, right, to a lot of this is that the lack of communication and the lack of attention. You know what I mean? Like, you know, you keep saying, oh, there's more and more mass shootings and more and more mass shootings. And you know what that to me it correlates with? It correlates with more and more access to information on your phones. Right? The best thing I think could happen right now is that everybody got sent a flip phone and all iPhones were shut off. Because it's going to start people start talking again. 
And people are going to discover this guy has problems, right? And I'm telling you, you know, we're like, we're blaming the police and the FBI on not checking up on this kid. Can you imagine how much text and DMs and calls the, the FBI gets daily about people? I probably get four on me a week. Do you see what I mean? It's very easy to go blame this organization for missing the one out of a million. I don't think that's the right thing to do. I think we need to come back and say, you know, why were we reporting this guy in the first place? And where was everybody else? And I'm proud of the heroes of those situations who stopped the gunmen or, you know, the people in Texas who did all that. I'm proud of those people. But what I, I want to go back to is why in the first place, right? And what we can do to change it. So what I implore you guys to do is this week is actually function as a person that communicates and connects with people around you. Okay? So that's what I got to say about that. All right. Are we good?